Anyways, as we bring it back into uh, episode six, you guys are kind of tasked with just going and doing whatever you want. Um, you guys uh, walk outside. You walk down the stairs. Kind of this time, you you immediately like find your your way down. Uh, as you come out the door, it's like the lobby that you were in. Um, the landing is just immediately down below. Goodbye, George. I kind of wave a wave a hand. A random wave waves a hand. Yeah. Not even looking back at the tower, just kind of throws a hand over his shoulder yeah. and just a little wave. Uh, nothing. No, it's silent. There is a there is a noticeable spring in the step of uh, Randall as he is uh, yeah. headed down, knowing that he is headed down towards the docks, down towards okay. the side. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I'll put it like this: you guys, you guys, kind of exit the tower and you you get to the staircase, and like as you look over the side, it like looks like the staircase goes down like hundreds of feet to the ground. Um. You guys just kind of uh, you descend and just kind of walk, spiral for a couple moments, and then immediately. As you open this door that's, that you come to at the bottom, um, you are just on ground level. You look up, the it, it's almost as if you've traveled like hundreds and hundreds of feet um, within what felt like five minutes. You are now in a in the middle of a bustling city. Uh, there are people just kind of walking. There's elves, there's humans, there's halflings, there's dwarves. Um, and, and they're all just kind of walking, going about their daily business, a couple shops around you. <coughs> Are the roofs of the uh, city are they thatched or are they tiled? They're they're tiled. Like it is a it is a full blown. It's a, um, I mean, so this is a this is a rich city. This yeah. is a, a rich district. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, you guys have exited the tower, gone down the stairs. Is you it have... is it quite obvious where the which way the docks are? I mean, is there? Nope. They right you there, just no? see you to your right. There's an intersection. To your left, there's an intersection. The houses all kind of look the same. People just walking around. What do you want to do? Uh, with my uh, with my experience as a sailor, would I be able to uh, smell my way to the sea, as it were, feeling the breeze come off the sea? Uh, you can that out. You can roll me a perception check to to check. Um, what are you two? What are you two doing um, as you guys walk out the door? Flora is, is still very uh, um, nervous because of the house. She's yeah. not. Uh, she's really thinking about the talking cat and trying to concentrate on the cat. Like, you know, that's, that's the positive in all this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but as far as, as far as, you know, really like looking around, she just notices like all the different books and stuff. Okay. She, uh, she thinks about the tavern, but she's not sure what to do first. She's just okay. kind of like freaking out so, of the house. Gotho's not really caring much about the city. In fact, he looks almost bored by it. And he is, um, He's sticking close to the other two, but he's intentionally, specifically, and vividly focusing on a large book in his mind. Okay. He's keeping that, like, okay, focusing on that because he's just waiting to see if it's going to cause him to walk there. Okay. Um, so, yeah, remembering what Talon had said, you know, think very vividly of, of where you guys want to go. Um, do you guys talk to agree where to go, or do you guys just want to like start walking? Well, well and... I, I'm, I want to see where if I can figure out which way is the uh, the sea is. Oh yeah, with the with the yeah. ten, um, you can't quite. So as I so as Randall stands there, you know, licking his finger and holding it in the air and sniffing, you know, <laughs> and looking around. So we are asked to build a god. What do you two think? And he kind of looks up from you know first at Fora and then up at Gotho and then continues to. Uh, Test the air, as it were, and failing, know. failing miserably. But I, I don't think it's a good idea at all. But if it's the only way to get Talon to come back to the king, then I suppose that's the only option that we have. If man can build other man, man can probably build a god. But is this a good idea to build a god? When one it gains is, so much power, who knows? It may be better to build a god than to have a bad one. I don't even know where to start. Can she roll a perception to see if maybe she can find this? Uh, or would that be survival, <clears throat> trying to find a, uh, a desert? Um, the, the desert? Which desert? 
Um, not the desert. Um, the the purple place. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah. The 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 purple place. Like immediately thinking. Uh, you just immediately remember that it there had to be that small ritual. Like those are the kind of in and out. Um. Real so quick. We're just, do we to, all... we're just walking around the city right now, just kind of like. Yeah, you guys are free to do whatever you want. Until you know, like the sun's kind of like overhead. It's still it's starting to, uh, to wane. Um, be about like which, four p.m. Which direction? Which direction is it moving? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we can see that the sun is starting to go down, right? West. Sun sets okay. in the west, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, uh, yes. dude, I'm 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 fucking sleep deprived. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it, it is there. setting to the west. We're all there. Okay, so it's <laughs> setting to the west, yeah. so I can tell which way is west. And uh, looking at the map, I know that the coast is to the west. Or on the western side mm. of Minerva. So I begin to walk that direction through the city. Okay. Would Randall know that the Minerva is on the east side of the harbor? I Did just you... looked at a map. I just looked at a map up in the. Uh, oh, that's right. You did just see a map. Yeah. Um, are you thinking about the docks as you walk, or? I'm I'm more chatting about the docks as I walk. I'm not okay. even thinking clearly. I'm I'm honestly, it's the almost the okay. exact opposite. Yeah. Yeah, my, no, no, mind, no my mind is racing over all of my memories as a child growing up on on the on the seashore on this type of thing and i'm just kind of babbling half to myself half to my companions pretty much anyone that will listen and Goth, what's going on Gotha's following randall but he's visualizing the book okay he is intensely and specifically focusing on what he imagines a tome must look like yeah based on or the description just, based on the description of it right? being four times the size of a book he's just he, okay. he's, he's even answering Randall as they go, but he's not deviating from focusing on this. Yep. Specific. Yeah. So you guys, you guys set off. Uh, let's say to the left of the door. Um, go. You start to follow like a, a street. You turn a quick corner. Turn a quick corner. Some of the some of the people are, like stopping and like staring at at Fora and and you go though and like hmm hmm oh, strange. Um, and you guys just. Continue to walk, take another do right. We, do we notice this? We notice that they're looking specifically at the tiefling and the Goliath. Let me perception but... check. Okay. Uh, you can you can see a couple heads turn as you guys walk but, by. But not looking at me, the halfling. Not looking at Randall. Rand like, are there other halflings around the city? Uh, yeah, you, you, you've seen a couple halflings walk by. There's been a couple uh, halflings, a no couple elves. What is like the general race of the people here? Is it? It's like mixed. It's entirely mixed. Um, seems like a couple more elves you've seen than than anywhere before, but uh, pretty much so mixed. We, so we do see other tieflings and other goliaths. I think you you've seen one tiefling, no goliaths. Okay, okay. Um, you guys continue to walk. And... Uh, what does Fora see? Uh, if I roll a perception check here, go ahead. It. You can notice that like all the buildings pretty much look the same, and you're actually like the first one uh, as you as you guys bound another corner. You're the first one to see. Um, you can hear like seagulls kind of chirping and and the the sound of crashing waves, but your immediate attention is on the far back of a wall. Uh, you see a a merchant with a plethora of uh, what seem to be necklaces uh, and bracelets and pipes, and he's just sitting there smoking on a really long, like very intricate uh, brass pipe, kind of <sighs> puffing at it for a couple seconds and blowing smoke rings. And Gotho, like as you turn the corner, you can, uh, you, you see the pipe shop, but immediately right next to it is um, a large, large, like <laughs> a cart full of books that like a, an old man is just kind of like fussing over and trying to like smack his donkey on the uh, on the ass to, to make it like move forward. And every time the oh. donkey like pushes forward, a book falls off. Uh, and Randall, you are immediately met with just the the sight of uh, the uh, the ocean and the docks on the left. Um, as you look over, you can see the card of the books, and you can see the uh, the pipe merchant and the the necklaces and such. But your immediate attention is on the the docks. It's beautiful, the most beautiful thing I've seen. Gotho cuts him off mid sentence and just like clamps his hand down on his shoulder and points at the points at the books and says, "Tomes." What, I, what did he say? To, tomes. Oh, oh, those are those are just books, Gotho. A tome is a book, the size of four books. But those aren't 
the tomes. Those are just random books. I don't think these are the ones that we want. Look, look at look at what this one says. Like, what does this one say? I pick it up. Um, yeah, so you guys like move forward. You you can hear the the old uh, the old woman, sorry, uh, fussling with the the donkey, and you just kind of pick it up and it just says uh, histories of Virhen and the world at large. This is just history. There's not there's nothing here. It's there's the tome. If, I'm pretty sure it would it would say something about uh, the tome of knowledge or uh, it would be it would be cooler looking than this. Look, it's dusty. It's nasty inside. Look. Have you seen a tome? Has she seen a tome? Can I roll an Arcana check? Or uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say like in. Uh, you you might mean, have seen like one or two uh, in maybe, your in your I travels. Maybe she was a nomad, but yeah. it's really. What do you think? You might have you might have met a mage or two. Um, Really up to up to your your backstory there. Oh, okay. Um, okay. 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 <laughs> I mean these these are this is not a tome. I've I would know what a tome looks like, Gotho. It's a very very large book. Much as larger. as as Fora and Gotho are uh, arguing over the definition of tomes, uh, Randall uh, actually addresses the elderly woman struggling with her ass, and uh, excuse me, <laughs> madam. I do not mean to intrude, but have you perhaps seen a tome recently? Oh, I know oh. that you are a uh, sir, uh, oh. seller of books, I believe, yes? Uh, 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 uh. And are just kind of like just staring at, at, at Fora, like holding her book, like, ah. Uh. Tome, do you know tome? And then Fora goes, ah, forget it. No, Clips no. The book, like all this dust comes out of the book and she just throws it on the cart. This is not going to get anywhere. As you like throw it, like topples over a bunch of other books, and she's like, ah! and she's like, just kind of like bends down to start like picking up the books and putting them on. And as she puts one on, another one falls off, and like the donkey moves R- forward. Randall, and Randall uh, immediately begins scrambling to help her pick up her books. I must apologize for my friends. Right. They are not used to being so near the sea. I believe the air has zapped their minds. <laughs> she kind of like the, the sea. Uh, 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 uh. It kind of like takes the books out of your hands and throws them back on the the cart and just smacks the donkey on the ass and like it keeps it's like it, you it, said it smacks going, the donkey on the ass. It said smacks the ass on the ass. Um, <laughs> it starts going forward and like all the books start falling off. She's just walking behind them, collecting them now, just trying her hardest, like looking at you for her again, like ah, ah, and just walking away. Okay, bye bye, bye bye now. Apparently, she doesn't have any tomes. She doesn't have anything. Who wants to read a book about history? I'm going to go talk to the man smoking the pipe over here. <clears throat> and she just kind of walks towards the dude hmm. smoking the pipe at the, the uh, stall. Hmm. Good day. Hello, sir. Hmm. Hello. How is, uh, what are you smoking there? Ah, uh, fine cherry weed. Oh, and, the like so it is a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Does, does she know what that is? Um, yeah, it's like a kind of like tobacco um question but mark kind of fucks you up if you have too much mm-hmm. mm. Some salvia <laughs> this reminds me of uh something my my very close friend used to have actually do you mm. have any for sale mm. Mm. um yes yes uh, for for a fair price a fair price what about something to smoke it in i unfortunately am without a pipe we have a Variety of wages. Wait, wait, wages. Uh, fuck it. Just pipes. Oh. Wow, look at all of these. Hmm. This is almost exactly like the pipes I was imagining. And he, he like, says, and and jewelry as well. Um, and plucks one off and looks at it. You may have this one, if you'd like. I can... For being... Have- so gorgeous and menacing at the same time with those sharpened horns. I am not susceptible to flattery, sir. I I apologize. Keep keep the necklace regardless. I have a pipe as Can well. Can she roll an insight on him? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Um kind of like looks like he has like ulterior motivations. Um mm-hmm. But like he might just be entirely hitting on you, like 
just thinking that you're you're gorgeous. Um, can, can can Randall roll an insight to see whether or not he's sitting on her? <laughs> yeah, you not can... about whether or not he has nefarious. <laughs> no, not like that. But he wants to know if this yeah. guy's hitting on for him. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely hitting on her. He's hitting on her. <laughs> yeah, you can get the feeling. Can Kilto roll an insight to figure oh. out what you're up to? <laughs> Yeah, and you realize, roll, roll me an insight. Two of them are both doing this. Roll me an insight. Or wait, insight. They're <laughs> fucking crazy. The lot of them. They're you. You just they're they're talking about some weird shit, and you you get the feeling like either either Randall or this guy is hitting on her at any given time right now. Gotho just kind of sidles over there, and he's standing. He, he, he sort of has a concept of a personal bubble, and he usually doesn't stand, like, right on top of people. But in this particular instance, he's standing right over Fora's shoulder. Fora, like, Fora like, is right, happy, like, happy like there. Hello, right um, behind her, looking down I, at the other two. I assure you, no harm. Just thought you were beautiful and necklace, perhaps. Keep it. Uh, I am so sorry for offending Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It's quite all right. I will keep it. This is my friend, Gotho. He is uh, traveling yes. with us. I... Oh, and let me introduce my friend Randall as well. Randall. Randall pops up his chest. Yes. yes. Right. <laughs> quite, a, quite a fair band of adventurers. I assure you, no harm. I just am in a I good mood today. I suppose you just give he jewelry taps... to all the pretty girls. He, then, well, huh? he, he taps the pipe. Could be the cherry weed, but in a good mood today. Actually, that is a fair point. All right, listen. I will take um, I will take some of your cherry weed, and I will also take a pipe. Okay. And what is a pipe that you would recommend sharing among friends? Um, this one. This one. He kind of like, he doesn't like go for the ones like hanging. He immediately like goes under and kind of, it is down here. Mm -hmm. Pulls it out, and like as he pulls it out, you immediately recognize it. It's he like kind of has like a dashing smile on his face. It's like a small loot. And it's got like the whole where where the sound would resonate is where you would put the cherry weed, and where the the strings connect at the top is where you would smoke it. Perfect for a bard <sighs> such as yourself. Oh, sir, I... you are perceptive. Mm. Mm. You, you do have a loot on your back. I do. I... Well. He's a smoothie. He's definitely a smoothie. You do have a loot on your back, don't you? Yeah. Where do you put that thing? <laughs> what is a smoothie? It's like a suit, only he's not going to get anywhere. It's uh it's a breakfast. <laughs> Listen, I will I will take this. I will take this and I will also take some of uh some of your cherry weed there. Yeah. And enough for, for a good couple of hours. Okay. Mm, yeah, um hmm. Mm, yes, good flavor. And he kind of like reaches down into a bag and motions for the pipe and kind of takes it and packs it in, puts it in real nice. And Do you uh, mind terribly if I take a sample uh, of yours before purchasing? Of, of course. Uh, passes his pipe, kind of like wipes it on his tunic before passing it to you. And Thank you. Just pop. Okay, give me a constitution check. <laughs> or constitution uh, save, sorry. Save. Okay. Yeah, uh, you you like you inhale it. It's kind of like a uh, like a musky odor, but then the the hint of uh, of cherries like follows afterwards on the exhale. Um, but it like as you as you exhale, there's like a moment where you almost like, <clears throat> but you're good, you're good. Like you just you kind of hold it in. Rand Randall, that is, that's very strong. <laughs> Randall dramatically uh, and almost uh, slowly holds out his hand up to four and says. May I? Well, that's up to up to our friend here. May he? I look um, at the man and I say, "Well, for you, one gold." <laughs> <laughs> and like he just continues I, to like I, uh, keep going. I, I, he, uh, Randall Randall sifts through his pockets, searching feverishly for a gold, not wanting to seem a fool in front of his friends. Randall, it's really Go, this is good. This is good cherry weed. Kotho's outfit is is well, obviously he's wearing like very minimal clothing, yeah. so his pockets are quicker to get into. He just pulls out a gold piece and hands it to Randall. Ah, we are good friends. <laughs> <laughs> and then gold. as soon as I take the gold from uh, from Gotho, I turn to the other guy with a scowl on my face and mm. kind of and then reach up and, and slam it down on the counter that's slightly mm. over my head. 
Right. Uh, he's like kind of sitting next to the counters. And he's throw it on. So, and he's like, one, one moment. And he kind of like reaches down, hides like what he's what he's doing, and packs. You see him like grab some cherry weed, pack it in. Uh, a sample. And as he passes it to you, it's it's like the uh, not not a loot like the uh, the pipe he passed to, to Fora, but it's a it's a pipe. It's also like not a troll cock. Is one it? quarter of the size of Fora. Perfect for you. And hands it to you. Instead, <laughs> uh, instead of being cautious at all, in in front of in front of his friends, his new friends, and especially Fora, oh. and, and this and this punk here, uh, <laughs> Randall Randall inhales the biggest, the okay. longest. Vape okay. <laughs> the fattest vape. Uh, give me, give me a con save. I'm on a mission to rip the fattest vape. Give me a con save. Uh, save, right? Yeah. <laughs> As you like inhale, like you you like look you look looking him directly in the eyes, um, you kind of like you you're hit with like this this musky odor, and like as you exhale, there's there's no cherry. It's just it's just morbid and disgusting tasting, and you start hacking up immediately. Um, but as as you're like the harder you cough, the more like lightheaded you get, and you kind of you kind of just like this calm. Besets you. It, you you immediately feel like four times lighter. You immediately feel like nothing in the world could make you angry. Um, and and you just like the the harder you cough, it, it kind of you almost like lose your balance for a moment. He's, mm. Quite quite new, not as experienced as your tiefling friend. Um, and he looks at you in uh, for and um, two gold for the. Pipe and the weed, cherry weed. All right. As for uh, as there. for it goes for her uh, gold pouch. <laughs> at this point, at this point, Randall has discovered his gold, and he steps okay. in the way and says, <laughs> "No, my lady, or I will purchase this finery, so we can enjoy it all together as very good friends." Ha! Boom. Got those, got those. Scratches his head for a second and says. <laughs> One gold to smell, and two gold to buy. Oh, did you? you no, you went. Okay, never mind. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, did you only want to smell the? I thought you wanted to smoke it, but you did want to smoke it, right? Me? Yeah. Mittens? Yeah. No, he he oh, yeah, smoked yeah, yeah. it, but Gotho doesn't okay. understand what's happening. So uh, he, he just um, yeah. where's our I, the, the prices are solid uh, does, for does her? Rand yeah. Does Randall still have the pipe? Yeah, you stole the pipe. He pretty yeah. much gave you the pipe. Yeah, yeah, and, okay. and the weed. I, 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 hand, I, I, I hand it up to uh, Gotho, uh, you know, waving it slowly over my head. It probably comes up to Gotho's waist. That's how tall he is. I'm saying, ah, oh, smell away, my friend. Smell away. Gotho takes it, but then he literally just smells it. Like, he holds it under his nose for a yeah. second and just kind of sniffs it. Yeah. And, and then what, what does it actually smell like? It, it, it smells like uh, the smell would be um, just cherries, like a soft hint of cherries. Well, not, the, not the one I got, though, right? Yeah. Didn't you say that the exhale was it wasn't like cherry at all? But no. Nope. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fucker. <laughs> Fora, <laughs> this merchant dude. Oh. Fora, Fora just kind of like uh, slides uh, Randall's gold piece back towards him. She gets out three gold pieces and just gives it to the merchant and says, three, or your trouble." Hmm. Thank you, thank you. Your beauty is squandered by your generosity, and <laughs> and enjoy the necklace and the pipe. And you, you, do you want to like put on the necklace or anything, or you just want to have it? Or she's not one for jewelry, so okay. she will. She'll okay. just yeah. it, add it to my. Just to describe it, it's like a thick, um, kind of uh, not rope, like uh, thinner than rope, but like a thick um, cord. Um, and on it are just uh, two, not very exquisite looking, uh, but rough gems. And in the middle is just a a kind of white carved um, gate. Uh, mm. Yeah, okay. it's just a it's just a gate. Um, and you just quickly throw that in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, All right. She she just takes the the loot uh, yeah. the loot pipe and the cherry weed and just you know turns away from him and says, "Thank you." Your business. Before we go, my friend, Randall addresses the uh, the uh, pipe salesman. Wink. Yeah. Um, do you know of any good taverns in this area? Oh. Where we might meet up with a talking cat. Um, <laughs> he doesn't even doesn't even flinch at talking cat. Mm, yes, 
Um, Igor's, uh, it is on the northern side of the city. Lovely bar. Takes a little long to get your drinks. But otherwise, fantastic people, fantastic service. Or as yours perk up at Igor's. Excellent. Excellent. Go I, through. I reach up and Randall just in all earnesty begins like shaking the Yeah, hand he just kind of takes your hand hands. and... Shakes both, it, looks you down. Both hand, with both of Randall's very <laughs> yeah. small little halfling hands, he's shaking the man's hand. Yeah. Goko sort of intrudes on that. Like while it, while he's doing it, he puts both palms on the counter and leans forward, uh, so that he he's kind of leaning down, so he's closer to the merchant's height. But at, by doing that, he's also putting his face in the other guy's face, like pretty close to him, and says, "Where can I find a tome?" Um, perhaps at a library. And kind of like as you it, like seemingly disturbed by you being so close, like finishes his puff and just exhales, kind of right in your face. Just, a, a library would be the place to go. <laughs> Goto is like completely, uh, he's completely unfazed by the puff of smoke. Just like does he considers yeah. that normal and says, "What is library? It's where tomes are kept, my I, friend." I. Kind of like as he leans around and looks at you, Fora, this look becoming all too familiar. Like, um, a place where books, or as your friend said, tomes. He uh, <laughs> stands up suddenly and he looks at Fora and says, There are buildings full of tomes, and they didn't tell me this. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the books we are looking for. Tomes are very rare. Why does everyone keep saying that? <laughs> You've mistaken books for tomes, my friend. <sighs> What's the difference? These guys haven't been very clear on it. I will let you know if I see a tome. We have not seen one. Well, that's going to be tricky then, because if we want to find it, we have to visualize it. I need to see what it looks like. I... Randall is freaking his shit. <laughs> I, 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 I have heard of Smoker's Cough, but that is the most awkward one I've ever heard. And Gotha usually sticks to common tongue, but since he's getting really frustrated, he doesn't have time to try and yeah. like sort through it and find the words. And he, he's just continuing to talk to Fora. So how are we going to find it if I can't figure out what it looks like? Can you visualize one? Maybe the city's purse or whatever it is will take us to it. But I don't feel like wandering around here forever. This place is pointless and it's wasting my time. I will try my best. I have not seen one in a long time. Hmm. Let's go get this tavern visit out of the way. I don't want to waste any more time with a talking cat. Right. Speaking of which, you're weird with cats. I like cats. <laughs> it's like the perfect character to be like idly sitting by for me as I just sit there and like puff on my vape. It would be perfect if we had the cameras on. <laughs> and he kind of like, kind of waits Randall for you guys is, to stop. Randall and, is still right. shaking the man's hand. By yeah, the yeah, just looks down at you and just... Right. Oh, kinda... I forgot. Gotho still has Gotho yeah. still has the pipe that Randall handed him, so he kind of holds it up and says, "And what is this crap? <laughs> it doesn't smell natural." I doubt it will affect you if you try to do anything with it. I have no intention of doing anything with it. And then he he like sets it on the counter right yeah. in front of Randall uh, and kind of like taps it for a second to get Randall's attention. Like, hey, this is your pipe. Don't forget it. Kind of thing. Just like tap. <laughs> and puts it right in front of him. Rand Randall is at this point still feverishly shaking the man's hand with both of his small hands. <laughs> and uh, but but his gaze has shifted now towards uh, the sea off to the left. Yeah. And uh, where the gulls are wheeling and crying and the waves are crashing up and the air is blowing up off the off the rocks. Mm -hmm. Not paying attention to much yeah. at all. Yeah. As as he just kind of um lovely to meet you all. Uh, kind of like takes your hand off of his, <laughs> both of your hands, and looks up at all three of you. Looks at you, Fora. May I see your beautiful face again? I certainly mm. hope so. What was mm. your name, sir? Um, it was Ugek. Ugek. Mm. Ugek. And looks at you in the, in the eyes, Fora says, Walk blessed. 
God and blessed. <laughs> And so Flora just turns away. Uh, she she ushers Randall. At this point, she's got her arm around him because she realizes that he is violently high. And says, Bozo, let's go find this tavern. All right, Randall, I need you to stop looking at the sea. You remember, you remember Igor? Igor? No, I've never, I've never met such a man. He goes and puts his arm around Fora, and and perhaps on purpose, perhaps not. Maybe it's just his height, but he his hand happens to find her bum, and he is pleased. But he doesn't make a big deal out of it because he's he's cooler than that. <laughs> <laughs> he's slick. He's super slick. He's super. Slick. He's, he's super um, out of it, is what he right. is. Right. So. Uh, are you guys are you guys picturing the tavern right now? Yeah, Flora's for trying to picture. She goes, ah, that's that is right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have been going on for a very long time. I am forgetful. All right, Gotho. Where are we supposed and to be going? Guys, Igor, just um, think of a. Uh, you have been to a tavern before, of course. Yes. Ah, yes. Where the yes. ale flows like women, yes. and the women yes. are full of ale, and the women and flow like ale. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, of course. Ah. Uh, Visualize a tavern. Um, if you can imagine, I can very, see it now. Yes, a very warm atmosphere, and uh, there is a man yelling for a wench who never brings any beer whatsoever. But somehow we are still served, and it takes a very long time. Go though. Vi- visualize. Yes, think about it. Think about it. If you can see it when you close your eyes. Hmm. You it's mean... like a dream in your mind, Gotho. You it's mean... like walking in the clouds on a rainy day. And, uh, Aura, you mean is just... see in mind's eye? Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and it, it's kind of funny to her because he literally just used the word for visualize in Infernal, but now he's like trying to, he's stumbling over the common tongue version of it. Right, right, right. Um, so she's, she's just kind of ushering Randall, uh, trying to talk to like Gotho about it and she closes her eyes and just thinks about thinks about a tavern thinks yeah. about Igor um yeah you guys you guys begin to walk uh, kind of the same path that uh, you had seen the um elderly uh, lady walk down with uh, her mule um kind of passing through uh, this arch walk for a couple moments more passing by a blacksmith by what looks to be like an alchemist and you just kind of turn right and as you turn right, you're immediately met with a, a, a small sign just on the corner of the building that wasn't there before. It's just kind of gently blowing back and forth with the breeze. A man just kind of bustles out of, of the tavern. Just, oh, it's, it's, this man is, 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 uh, kind of runs into runs into you, Randall, and says, oh, it's a good beer, the wench is the lie. And kind of like walks by, and the sign just reads Igor's. Do you guys want to go in? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. You uh, you walk in, um, see the general hustle and bustle of a uh, of a of a tavern. Um, you're met with uh, met with the immediate stench of ale and people people talking and small discussions happening. And <laughs> as uh, as you guys step in. There's a man sitting there at the bar, just furiously scrubbing, uh, bald. Kind of looks like a white uh, shirt on and an apron on, facing away, uh, speaking to uh, another another patron. What do you guys want to do? Uh, Randall would like to climb up on top of the bar. Okay. <laughs> so that he's eye level with the bartender. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that is that a difficult thing for Randall to do in his current state, or is he able to is, succeed? I, is the bartender Igor or Igor? Uh, you can't see; he's facing away from you. Shit! Is it Igor or Igor? I, I it's, it's Igor. Igor. Yeah, okay. It's Igor. Igor. Well, they were wrong then, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> it's drunk and steam. Um, uh, okay, so Randall, you guys immediately see Randall, uh, like he kind of like struggles to clamber up onto the stool sitting at the bar. Um, and then like you stand on top of it and as as this man, uh, Randall, unfamiliar to you, beautiful mustache, nice curls at the end, small goatee, bald head, black apron, white shirt, 
turns around and like just as you put your foot on the bar and he's like in the middle Hello my what the fuck are you doing my friend get the fuck off the bar Oh you oh. do not stand on bar in Igor's place get off the bar Igor so sorry so sorry my friend Oh uh, he is violently high right now oh, just oh. trying to see you so I am never violent my when friends I'm for uh, and big man, Gotho. How, is, how are you? How are you doing? It's lovely to see you again. It we is just, so good to see you. Just dropping in here for uh, here for a couple of drinks, meeting a friend. Randall, mm. Randall, get off the counter. Yes, please, please, before I force Vench to get you off bar. It is good to oh. see all of you. Welcome to Mina. The I... Vench can get me off. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> like, as, as you say that, um, what's your AC? Uh, 19. How's okay. my... Okay. <laughs> Okay. As you say that, he like, oh, right in the chest. And you feel like as if you've been struck by a, a like a cart, like as if a, a cart has gone down a hill full speed Battering at you. And, and it's just, it's crashed into your chest and you're immediately like your chest kind of like concaves and you fly like five feet back. Um, you take no points of falling damage and no points of him shoving you. We just, please find seat, my friend. <laughs> no more standing on bar or Igor will have Vench throw you out. Uh, so, 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 I, so, so I've flown off, off the bar. You're knocked prone. Do I land like into a, into a booth? Do I like fly? No, like, you're just, you just like knocked flat on chairs. your ass on the floor. Oh, so it's just in the middle of the floor? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank so you, my wait, friend. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is, when, when we see this Igor, is this... Does this look like the person we met in Men in Gotho, or you does two. this look like Men Men in Men in Gotho? Men in Gotho. Wait, men men, Gotho? Men in, it's Men in Gotho. Men in Gotho. <laughs> men, in, men, in, men in Gotho just sounds like a really shouty porn movie. We, we already <laughs> made that joke so many times. This is uh, this is uh, the same man that you Gotho and Euphora have met uh, twice now. But when we got from uh, when we went from uh, Greyholm to Men in Gotho. Like wasn't it a different person? Like he didn't recognize us? Or maybe I'm misremembering. I thought um, it was a different No, no, he like, did recognize. Like wasn't you guys. it Igor's cousin or like an nope. Igor's twin brother? He recognized you. No, okay. All right. Maybe I'm misremembering. You guys this. asked him what happened to his bar, and he said he, he detailed that the siege hit and his his uh his bar was blown apart by a fireball, and so he had to move shop and create up a set up a new tavern and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, that must be what I'm remembering. Well, in that case, if it's the same guy, Gotha just like scratches his head, and and Gotha remembers trying to poke this guy yeah. and feeling like he was poking a brick wall. So he's not at all surprised when he, he when the guy effortlessly like pushes uh, Randall off the counter. But then Gotha looks at him and says, "How is Igor's tavern here?" Oh, my friend, it is ho. Oh, sit down at bar. Let me get you a drink. Vange! Okay, let me get you a drink. Vench will be here in just a moment. She is always on time. Okay. No, she will not. Let's, let's do not do not question the Vench. Okay, Vench is integral to parts of a Vigor's tavern. Any best. Three, three okay. drinks. Three Vench! Okay, any Please, best. Thank you. So, sit down at bar. Igor will tell you. So, I was in Meningother. We saw each other. You, came, you come to Igor's bar where you met very weird men. Um, listen, Igor's bar, I had barrel that I was bringing up from basement, and I put it on floor, and as Igor put it on floor, it exploded, blew out the whole east wall of Igor's bar. Can you believe it? So I had to come up here to Minath, the city of magic and wonders and amazing things and flying books and crazy big-ass staircase that leads to somewhere that we cannot go in, which sucks, buddy, babe. And we make new Igor's tavern. It is wonderful. I, I have it look exactly the same every time. So, Flora does not believe him, but she also, for some reason, trusts him, so she's not going to question it. <laughs> Gotho says, how you get here so quickly? My friend, I walked. It is, we travel. Uh, Hasn't it? It's only been like one day, right? Or yeah, two days? It's only been yeah, like one day. And he crossed the entire continent. Uh, okay. That's what he's saying. Hmm. <laughs> Gotho doesn't often insight check, but he's not buying that one. <laughs> Flora pulls out her her loot and just starts <laughs> drumming. Um, you looking at him like his face is stone cold. Like he he just has a smile on his face. And if anyone like ever needs help picturing what Igor looks like, he's basically Major Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist, 
but with black hip facial hair. <laughs> just really fucking buff. But he, he just he just sitting there, just smiling at you. Um, you immediately understand that there is no way somebody could walk the entire continent in a day. But he's not offering any other explanation. Okay, so at this point, Randall uh, has found his feet and is now uh, dragging a small stool from uh, uh, behind where you know where he landed. And he's just, I found a seat. And he's just kind of dragging it around in a circle behind the bar. <laughs> oh my. Sorry, Rachel, I, I, th I saw the 19. I didn't see the, the, the nat 20. Um, as, as like he's looking at you, you see like a slight smirk across his face that flits for a moment and then immediately like it's gone. And as, as you like drag the fucking chair, my friend, what the fuck is this man doing? And he goes, but. I'm sorry to find a seat. Yes. I have found your seat. At this point, I'm holding the stool above my head so that he can take it. He just kind of, he just kind of. Grab it. Yeah, yeah. As you Igor like grab it, grab Igor like raises his hand up as if he's going to backhand Randall. And my friend, please <laughs> sit in this stool right now. Sit down. Randall, come have a seat. Oh, <laughs> excellent. And he climbs up on Fora's lap. What? While, <laughs> while, while Randall is doing this, Gotha looks back at Igor and says, you walk to Minath in yes. one day. Well, it felt like years, if you know what I mean. But yes, long walk. It was tiring. Oh, the heat of desert. Um, it is very hot. The desert. Oh, okay. You passed Zalam. And Melston in desert. Uh, no, no, I went um around. Um, there is path through mountains. Mm hmm. Mm. Only path through mountains is on west side. Yes. Near near Lantrevert. You go there. Yes, of course. Hmm. Gotha went there once. Hmm. You have been to the uh, the hallowed city of Lenthravet? Mm, no. Oh, do but not ever go. But mountains nearby took 12 days to pass. Oh, you must be very slow, my friend. Anyways, uh, would you like uh, beer or ale? Did I call Vench? You can like, see him sweating for a moment. There is the one moment. Um, there is person <laughs> over there calling for Igor. And just kind of like, oh, yes. <laughs> go, go yes, my friend. Uh, Gotha does not take hints. <laughs> like he doesn't. Uh, draw, being subtle or leaving a hint for Gotha does not work. So Gotha like holds up his hand and says, mm, "Gotha does not believe you." Well, my friend, that is the story. Regardless, it was good time. You should go sightseeing in bluffs and highlands, but do not go to hallowed city of Lanthrovet. It is bad city. Igor cannot set up shop there. He tried. It is no city. There is none. It is gone. What, what, could you repeat that for us? What? The city what? that we are not supposed to go to. The hallowed city of Lanthrevert. It is. Okay, it is. Also. There is no city. Yes, it is long. Well, it is. It is called hallowed because there is no city anymore. A okay. long time ago, city was destroyed. Nobody knows. It was big blue <laughs> flash. Next morning, everybody dead. City blow up or something. Kind of like Igor's tavern blow up. Oh, I am heated just thinking about it. How, how starts long ago stuffing her that... pipe with cherry weed and starts like mm. making like little things in the pipe, just getting it ready. How long ago would that have all happened? Because Gotho's travels would have brought him by that place probably three or four months back. It's not been that long. Romy, actually, you would not know. You would not know at all. Um, because well, uh, well, it, what, I, what I mean is like when he passed that area, would he have seen a blown up city? Oh yeah, yeah. You would have seen like a desolate city. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, you wouldn't okay. have known how long ago it happened, but you, when you passed by, it was indeed as he's describing. So it's been longer back than four months, is what we know. Yeah. Or Gotho knows. Okay. Gotho looks looks at uh, Fora and Randall, and then just kind of, you know, he's not being subtle about it at all. He just points at Igor and says, he is lying. Well, of course he's lying. But he has also helped us out many, many times. And as far as I am concerned, I do not need to know a history of someone if they have good intentions. 
And Igor just kind of shrugs. I swear to you, lady, I have nothing but the best of intentions. <laughs> yes, yes. Is he still, he's still sitting on your lap? He's still sitting on Fora's lap. At the point. I fully he's intend on sharing this pipe with you. She has been here before. She's been very, very high on cherry weed. She knows what it does. So she's just letting him just do his. I what? imagine he's like nestled up against like his the back of his head is like against your neck yeah. and he's just like speaking at your chin. Yes. <laughs> Morris, okay, Morris right. is speaking to the room at large, but addressing but definitely yeah. addressing for uh yes. Mm -hmm. Gotha is now suddenly realizing that he's sitting in her lap and he looks like he's completely out of it. Uh and then Gotha like he puts his face very close to Randall, which in turn means he's very close to Fora's face. So it's like all three of their faces in a triangle in a very small space. And he says, is he okay? He will be okay eventually. Um, he's not himself at this point. I uh, am definitely me. Then I am myself. I am fine. I reach out with a very small hand and Randall just pats Gotho on the side of the cheek like this. <laughs> Smack, smack, while, smack, smack. while Randall's doing this, Gotho kind of says at the same time, so their sentences are stacked on top of each other. But when she says he's not himself, Gotho looks at her and says, then who is he? <laughs> I no, I am I am definitely me. I am I am Randall. Randall Florida. Randall can't explain his state of consciousness right now. It is altered, but he is okay. <clears throat> you mean he's on drugs? Exactly. Why didn't you just say that? <laughs> I didn't want to be rude. These are like some of my favorite conversations. <laughs> if you don't fight anything today, I am fine with this. <laughs> yeah, upon hearing her say that, he just immediately straightens up. And he's like, oh, okay. He turns back to Igor. We are supposed to find. Oh wait, did Igor walk away, or is he still here? Uh, Igor is like, like momentarily, like turning his back to cleaning this spot. Uh, but as soon as you like uh, start speaking, kind of notions back to you, pops his head over to you. We are looking for a tome from a ship. Oh, from, from three weeks ago. Do you know where missing ship is? Well, my friend. Tome? Hmm, let me think. Um, Since you seem to know everything else. Well, you know, Igor is a very smart man. <laughs> kind of like fixes his shirt. Igor <clears throat> knows everything. Uh, ship? Igor does not know. Maybe ship is not nothing or something. If Igor knows everything, then ship is nothing. He kind of like, you, you see him like think for a moment. You Just like his eyes kind of go to the top of his head off to the right and... Randall mm -hmm. digs around in his pocket as this is happening. In Igor's pocket? No. Oh, okay. Pocket. I was like, whoa, dude. <laughs> um, he's, uh, Igor cannot think of ship. Maybe, maybe ship go underwater. Who knows? Crazy stories, right? Like bomb blowing up in Igor's tavern. Do you have bomb? Do you have bomb with you? Gotho actually starts reaching into his pockets to check. <laughs> mm. No, no bomb. Good, good, I very good. I have one of these, and Randall pulls out the small stone that uh, was given them earlier. That uh, this will show us the way to the tome. This right here, this will point the way. And he's holding it up as though it's going to suddenly magically just zip off and show us. As, the way. as you're like holding it up, like from behind you here, um, do not show those out loud or out and please, uh, what the fuck is he doing, Bora? Yes, um. He just had some cherry weed. Speaking uh, of, and then uh, she just clicks her fingers and okay. she does uh she does the thaumaturgy thing. Yeah. Where she just pulls a fucking flame out of nowhere. Yep. Yep. Just starts puffing on the pipe. Okay. Uh roll me a con save. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, a beautiful cherry exhale. Nothing wrong. You're used to it. You're weathered. You've spent uh. time with cherry weed. This um, has been something I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Randall, stop. Your, your ass is bony, my friend. Stop moving around. Um, should we find uh, a booth? Hello, hello, Igor. You see, like, Igor is like, Oh, hello, my friend. It is good to see you. Would you like ale? Yes, okay, maybe, maybe five. Okay, fetch! Make that five! Okay, good times. All right, go have booth. There is free booth over there. Uh, have a good day. Thank you so much. Randall and just 
sets him down <laughs> on the on the ground. We're going to a booth, Randall. R- Randall, Randall kind of Randall kind of like 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 kind of puts one hand like up as though to steady himself against Fora, but the other hand is kind of pawing at the pipe in her in her hand, the lit pipe in her hand. Uh, 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 no. Definitely. Oh, please, not just one more. No. My lady, I swear to you, I am fit as a fiddle and fresh as a daisy. You are. Is, he, is he steady on his feet? <laughs> is he, um, how, steady, how steady is he? Or is, does he look like he's tipping over? I'd say over? like he's he's not like tipping over anything. He's just like doing this weird thing where as he speaks, he like kind of leans off to the right. <laughs> and then like he like comes back in and then like as he's speaking again, he like leans off to the right as if like he just can't stay still. Okay, so I, I'm I'm not sure the exact measurements, but I'm pretty sure the distance from Gotho's hand, if he's standing still to the floor, is more than three feet. So he he reaches down slightly and he just hooks his fingers like in the back of Randall's plate mail, like his armor, and then he just I, I have chain mail on, but oh, it would, I would have mail? like I would have like a chain mail uh, hood, like uh, like right there at the back of my neck. Would, okay, yeah, was, the hood, is the hood over his head? No, right? no, no, no. It's like it's like like a hoodie, like at the back of my neck. Okay. Like so that. he reaches inside that and hooks his and hooks his hand around, so he has a good grip on like the whole hood area, and then he just stands back up. So it's like Randall's feet are like six inches off the floor. Four of puffs on the pipe. And she's I am flying. flying. And now I'm flying. I am <laughs> flying in the tavern. Thank you, Gotho. Let's continue over here so we can talk. Oh, about- that was the right song. Okay. He's just, Sorry. So Gotho's just following her, but he's just holding him like a handbag at, at this point. At this point, Randall has both of his hands out like like Titanic, like I'm flying Jack. <laughs> This has both oh of his my God. not understanding exactly what's happening, but he knows that his feet are off the ground. This is a fucking circus, dude. Talon, <laughs> Talon just kind of like pushes by you guys. Right. Um, I didn't think the city had this effect on people. Um, okay. Gonna like scoots into a booth and bring bring him to just your motions. Give me Randall. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, when he says give, give me, me Randall, when, when he phrases it that way, Gotho holds <laughs> he holds him out, but uh, Talon's also very short, right? Yeah, he's a halfling. Yeah, yeah. So he holds him out like right in front of him, but like holds him down so his feet are almost on the ground again, but not quite. It's like it, an inch up. He the just like kind of. Holding him out like to Talon, like okay, here you go. So he kind of like he kind of like puts he, his arm around your waist, Randall, and just pulls, and you just immediately like sit down in the booth with him, and he's got his arm around you. Right, my friend. Um, drink, drink some water. Uh, there, there's got to be water around here. Um, right, sit, everyone. Uh, let's get this circus act in motion. Yes. Mm-hmm. You guys all sit there's down. There's going the booth. to be a circus. I know. There's. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Which <laughs> god this, would that be? There's this, so many. This is Are probably my fault. I, I wished to, for a pipe, and this is what I got. Unfortunately, ah. he also took a hit off. You met Ugek. Ugek is such a lovely man. Isn't uh, he? Uh, I, do, I do enjoy him. He's a nice man. Very charismatic individual. Would you like a. Ah, no, no, not for me. Stop that no. stuff years ago. Randall paws at the pipe as it's offered to the guy. <laughs> uh, 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 you That's stay great. right there. Okay. Um, <laughs> My lady, I swear, I am fine. And he, he kind of like puts his hand on your shoulder now. and Right, kind of like leans Have in. you seen my pebble? I... When when uh, Randall says, have you seen my pebble, Gotho actually remembers that the arrows on the pebbles and whatnot are important. And, and he actually starts fishing around in Randall's pockets because he doesn't trust his mental state anymore. I'd say so he still has uh, it in his hand because he was oh. like holding it out in his hand fish, when he... Fish away, please. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, do, can I can I see if his hands are closed like he's holding the pebble? I, I'm sure hand? one of his hands are closed with the pebble, yeah. Okay. Gotho, like, f- he fishes the pockets for a second and then notices a second later that his hands are closed. So he oh, actually Duke, takes it... again. He takes it and just very gently opens his fingers casually and removes the pebble. No, uh, uh, Randall tries to resist. <laughs> you want, ro- both of you more, roll strength more, checks then. <laughs> wanting more, wanting more pocket action. You roll me a disadvantage on your strength check, uh, Randall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, 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 you like feel his fingers like close for a moment. You just quickly like peel them back, just like a potato. You just, <laughs> and then the, his palm lays open. You're as strong as a giant. 
Gotho just takes the uh, he takes the pebble and then when he says you're strong as a giant, Gotho answers him in the giant language and says maybe, <laughs> except it comes out sounding like maybe because it's like a very slow because, delivery. Because Randall's high as balls. <laughs> oh, that was an interesting noise. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's taken my pebble. Yes, probably for the better. Um, okay. I um, think you lost your pebbles. Man. Are we? Is it, are we? Are we ready? Um, right. Have you decided? Will you find the tomes? Gotho is already looking for tomes. Oh. Oh. Um. Well. I mean. He okay. thinks. He thinks books and tomes are the same thing. I'm afraid. Well, I mean, the <laughs> a tome is just a bigger and older book, so he's not wrong. But at the same time, he like. Shoots you that look for like, God fucking damn it! We've we've <laughs> talked, we've discussed. He okay, uh, good, <laughs> lovely, lovely. Um, right. Um, so here's the deal. Are you going to get it? We can take you to the temple of Ogma, uh, but after that, uh, you have to find the one in Minas, and you have to find uh, the one over in Kerkarandia. Uh, I cannot take you to those two, but I can take you to Ogma on the morrow. As as long as you uh, have an inkling of where we are going, then yes, let us okay. just take care of the uh, the one you know about first, and then we will unfortunately have to deal with the other ones later. Yes. Okay. Um. Right. As for a suitor to be, and that was, I must insist on accompanying her I, as protection. I, Against the evils of this world. You wouldn't, Randall. Of, of, of course. Well, of course I would. <coughs> what? What a brave it would soul. Be my honor, lady. Oh, it would be my pleasure for you to accompany me on this journey. Oh, Go. pleasure indeed. Where is that wench? <laughs> Gotho, is, it, Gotho taps like his index finger and middle finger on Fora's shoulder to like make sure she's looking at him before he starts speaking. And assuming she like turns, he, he looks at her and says, is he, and, and points at Randall, really a suitor? <laughs> and then he raises an eyebrow like he's questioning it. He's, he didn't say that. He said that in common, right? Yes. No, he didn't say it in infernal. He says that in English or common. And she, well, she, she whispers back to him, just not in the least, my friend. Uh, can I make a perception check to hear that with the... <laughs> Yeah, you can roll me a perception. Would it be check. would it be with disadvantage at this point? Um, no, because you're like right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can you can hear that. Um, yeah, yeah, you can hear that. Randall immediately bursts into tears. Not just tears, <laughs> giant <laughs> heaving sobs. Just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh God, um, wait, wait, Randall! Wait, oh, just stop, like stop, here, stop Randall, crying here, and take just another, take another hit of, of the cherry weed. Just yeah. drink very, your very ale, very Randall. Valley's uh, talon's shoulder, uh, and, and just continues to sob. And yet, as he hears Fora offer cherry weed, as he's continuing to sob into Talon's shoulder, <laughs> his hand reaches out and takes the pipe. Randall, kind of just pipe. smoke the pipe and drink your ale. God. Damn and it. takes a, and between massive heaving sobs, he takes another giant toe. <laughs> okay, give me a constitution just, saving throw. Trying to just cram down the sadness no. that has suddenly consumed him. As you're like crying into, <laughs> crying into a uh, uh, talon with beer, <laughs> like ale just spills all over. <laughs> That's the and second. You're like the second. Okay, <laughs> so you're you're I, I like crying to, into I talon. To, I get to reroll. Hold on. Oh yeah, you do. But you shouldn't reroll that one. I should oh, actually. I had the page open. One second. Um, it's saving throws, ability checks, and attack rolls. There's no limit wow. on the number of times. Yeah, there's no wow. limit on the number of times. Jesus Christ! Fucking I'll t- I mean, I'll, no, no, no. Seriously, it's uh, per because of the situation, et cetera, et cetera. It's I, I'll take the net one. You'll you know. take the net one. I'll take the net one. Yeah. Lovely. Sure. Um, <laughs> as you as you're like sobbing into talon, you like spill this this <laughs> ale that you guys had not seen him holding before all over him. Um, and as you guys look down, there's like there's five mugs of ale just sitting there. And and as like <laughs> you see Randall like take another hit and he <sighs> just flat onto the table. <laughs> it doesn't even exhale, he just flat onto the table. Forehead just flat onto <laughs> the yeah, table. Yeah. Okay. 
Flora goes, she takes the pie from him and goes, all right, let's talk business. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll, me, roll me a perception check with uh, disadvantage right now, uh, Randall. <laughs> He's best at- I know, I know. Whoa, okay, okay. Oh my God. I'll say that my like through this, you can still like, you, you're yeah. not like you're not like really hearing anything, but when you I wake up, you can retain word. it. Yeah, um, and and <laughs> Talon just like pats him on the back. Right. So um, tomorrow we will go to the temple of Agma. You will face a trial uh, to get the tomb of uh, knowledge. Um, this is the first tomb you must acquire. These three tomes, uh, tomes, tomb. Fuck, I said tomb. These three tomes um, are well. They're they're to study to be a god. Um, the process is you, what, we, what we've learned is that you study these three tomes and you take all three tomes to the throne um, and upon doing that you will uh, start the process of ascension. Um, we do not know the, the second or third rather step of the ascension, um, but we are, we are worried that Elenil has already found a throne. Now you do not need the tomes to ascend, all you need is the throne and then to find the, the catalyst of the ascension. There has to be an event. Uh, to ascend you. You cannot just um, uh, sit on the throne and become a god. So, uh, we suspect that Elenil is traveling to Podias to find a throne, and with that, he will start his journey to ascend. And through that, P- with Podias. the... Inter- Podias? Yes, Podias, yes. For what? Um, with, there is apparently a throne nearby there. We, we do not know which, but there's apparently an old throne. It's a fishing village. How can there possibly be anything over there? Are there are dais. The town was burned. Gothos saw it. Well, I I have not heard the rumors of this, but um, well, at least I, at least I think it was. Unless that's just me. That's, from that's what you. That's what you know. That's okay. what you know. Um, well, that's I. I have not heard of this. I've not been to the eastern coast of Virhen for quite a while. But regardless. The, the throne would be hidden. It wouldn't be in the middle of the town. It would be um, p- perhaps beneath or um, in, a, in, a, in a secluded cave. Um, we've only ever found one, um, and that was in one of the most weird places. So who knows? But we believe that Elenil is trying to ascend to become a god and that he will take the entire ninth with him as well as Tanazin, We've gotten word that he has left Foltest to come to Virhin once the throne is found. These are all messages intercepted by the hand. It's why I was traveling with the Greyholm refugees and what we've intercepted so far. And all right, and you have a plan. So when do we when do we leave? Uh, we will go to the Temple of Ogma tomorrow. We have three weeks. I cannot why accompany you. We go you. tonight. Uh, Fora is very visibly shaken um, by the, the the news that um you, you mentioned Podias. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um is well um I mean we, we could if you are well rested enough, uh, perhaps if you'd like to. Would you think it would, would be necessary to um, take a rest? No, I, I I do not think so. We we only we rested just, hours ago. We just rested. Yes, hours ago, and and in the in the plane, uh, the realm of Azuth. Um, so, uh, yeah, we we may leave tonight. We will prepare. Uh, we just have to deal with this. And he points to Randall, like pass out. If on the table. we, if we, <clears throat> if we leave tonight, we will not find Tom here in the city. Well, um, right now we can't find it at all. So, uh, the the ship is missing. Might as well get the one that we know. Uh, perhaps Elenil himself, when we heard in the tunnel, he was headed to Zalem, which is quite close to the Great Peak. So, hopefully... <laughs> now now Gotha looks kind of disturbed. Mm. Um, ho- hopefully, we, we let's get this one, and then go and find the one in Minas. That would take them quite a while. They can't use the, the Imperial Realm to travel uh, that far, I, I don't think. Um... Uh, oh, for did you uh, did you perhaps get that letter? I I wanted to make sure that you read it. It was oh, um, it seemed important. I yes, I I glanced at it, of course. Um, hang on a second, and she reaches into her pack. Okay, yeah, pulls it out. Uh, she kind of just gives it like a cursory glance, and then she's just like, huh. 
and then her eyes like widen at the end and she just looks at Talon and just immediately where did you get this I well you saw it was a boy uh, he he in, in, in a rush the fucking mailman boy? what did he look like why well, I, I, I don't remember that so uh, brown hair long hair he's just what a mailman what does it say it uh I will I will read this um although I'm not quite sure that this is something that this is true it just says dearest this might come as a surprise but I had thought you dead until I hired a mystic for my fortune she mentioned you the scryer had told me you were in Minath I write because I know you must be strong it's been so long I'm in Tilstead and need you to come when you can. Although the mail may not take long, you might. Tilstead is a beautiful city. Perfect. Sometimes almost too perfect. It's lovely, and I hope you get this in time to know I'm doing absolutely well. I'm sorry it's been so long. You are loved still. Mother? My mother's... Is this a joke to you? For I, it, he, he only delivered it to me. I, I, it was just delivered to the tower. I, uh, give me a perception or give me an intelligence check really quick. Have you showed Gotho the letter or no? She, she's, she's showing Gotho right now. Okay. I mean, I, I assumed that Gotho was sitting next to her. So okay, yeah, both of you give me intelligence checks. Okay. Uh, checks, checks, checks. Okay. Uh, you can both read. Uh, the. Uh, let me show this to the viewers really there's, quick as there's well. There's stuff on the side, if I'm not mistaken. Bum, there's. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, yeah. Give me three seconds. Uh, Is it so infernal? You can read on the side um, the runes that kind of look like just kind of harmless on the side. Mm -hmm. um, the left side says, "Help! I am trapped by the city." The right <laughs> side says, "Seek." Thought. I was like, "This is like a." The right <laughs> side says, "Seek Tomath. He can guide you." Gotha would not pick up on that, regardless what the intelligence check says. He okay. didn't see it. Okay. He didn't see it. Fora is just flipping the fuck out right now. Um, so she's, you know, yeah. she looks at Talon and says, "Well, thank you, uh, thank you for delivering this." Yeah, I, I, I hope all is well. I did not mean to to defend. I, it was just the letter given to me, addressed to you. Of course, yes, that is fine. And she puts it away. 